Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about a few reasons why one website may run dramatically faster than another website. And this applies even in those cases where you have a relatively powerful computer that seems like it should be able to load everything at a moment's notice. So there's a few different aspects to this equation, um, different areas that can bottleneck the performance of a website. So one of those is that you have a slow server that you're connecting to. On the other end, when you load up a website, um, a computer, a server, is going to be providing the files in the final form sent to you so that you can load it on your computer. Now, it might not just be that the server has a slow processor, but it might also be that there is unoptimized server-side code on, on there. So if you have bad PHP code or something like that, it's going to take longer to execute because that code was... In addition to that, not all web server applications are created equal. So if you're running Apache or if you're running Nginx as your web server application, um, there may be different performance levels there. So one will run faster than the other. And just like if you're using a different web browser, um, the performance is not going to be the same. Some browsers process graphics and regular data uh, faster than other browsers. So beyond the server, there's also the issue of how much JavaScript is going to be running on that web page, or basically client-side code. So this is the code that executes when you load up a web page, but on your computer rather than on the server. So this includes things like Google Analytics scripts. Uh, the developer writes it in their code for this script to run, uh, basically on their side when they're developing the site, but it actually executes on your computer. Um, so this might also include things like ads, Google AdSense, other kinds of tracking code, or even uh, what's called AJAX, asynchronous JavaScript, where certain elements may live later on the page rather than earlier on on the page. And that's actually a good thing. That makes the page load faster because it delays when certain elements of the page load rather than having them all load at and then of course likewise because it's still code that's being executed even though if it's on your computer if it's written poorly it's going to take longer to execute which is going to make the web page take longer to load full um then beyond that the amount of images or video files that are trying to be ran on a web page are going to have a huge impact especially if the bandwidth of your internet connection is not as fast as some of the other ones out there. So images are one of the elements that have the largest file size when it comes to loading up a web page. Some images, especially if they're large and haven't been shrunk down to thumbnail size, may take several megabytes even to load, which is a lot of uh, data for a web page. And beyond that, of course, video files take the longest, which is why when you watch a video like on YouTube, it's usually not going to start loading that until you hit the page button. And then even when you do start to load it, it's going to buffer a percentage of the video rather than trying to load everything at once before you play it. Because if you had to wait for the entire file to load, that might mean several minutes because video files can be hundreds of megabytes if they're long enough. But on a web page that tries to load all the images and maybe even a video, at the same time, the moment you load up a web page, then it's going to take longer because that's a lot of file size to have to go through. Now, other elements like your computer's speed and the browser choice you use is going to have an influence on how fast websites load. But because you're, using, you're usually using the same browser and the same computer to access those websites, it's going to apply its uh, part of the equation to all the websites you load. But those things I previously mentioned, the server-side unoptimized code, choice of web server application, how much JavaScript is running on the page, and how many images and video files are on each web page is the main things that are going to be setting one website loading fast apart from another website loading very, very slow. So I've been Chris, thank you for watching, and I hope I've broken this down enough for it to make sense on why some websites or web pages load slower than other ones, even if you have a fast computer. And I will see you guys in my future video content.